My name is Shashir Shah. I'm the medical director of wound care and hyperbarics here at St. Joe's. So often when we think of a wound, you know, it has different meanings to different people. Uh, before I was involved in the, in, in the field, I thought of a wound as when I cut myself in the kitchen or hit a car door or maybe fall when I injured myself playing a sport or something of that nature. And typically we put a Band-Aid on it, some dressing on it, maybe we go to Walgreens, get an over-the-counter antibiotic uh, cream or gel, and hopefully it gets better by just washing and keeping clean. We usually do fine, even with very little care, probably not needing to see a doctor. But what we see is patients that have chronic illnesses, usually diabetes, they have heart disease, may have skin cancer, or may have gone, undergone a, a large surgery, or major surgery, or even a fracture. So those are complex cases where they don't heal on their own, they don't heal with a Band-Aid or a simple stitch may not heal them up. It's more than 30 days of not progressing uh, actively, not healing and making uh, good progress or not closing down in the wound size or the skin size. Uh, then they need more advanced care. And we consider a lot of those patients who failed 30 days of conservative care, which is they've maybe seen their doctor, maybe had a stitch, or maybe just cleansed it on their own and bandaged it, bandaged it up, but have not improved. One of our biggest tools is hyperbaric medicine. Hyperbaric uh, oxygen treatment is sort of the, 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 the largest tool, a very effective tool, and a very unique tool. When we have an illness or an injury, often oxygen is deprived in that particular area. And our skin is very sensitive to oxygen because even though it's the largest organ in the body, it's often the last to get perfused because the body's priority is always the heart, the brain, and some larger organs internally rather than externally. What we do with this chamber, what the hyperbaric does, is gives oxygen under high pressure. Such high pressure actually delivers it through the body, through the lungs, and delivers it uh, from plasma through the blood system to the skin and allows the skin to go through a, a more a normal healing process when it normally wouldn't. But when they go inside the chamber, it's really just sitting there for about 90 minutes to two hours, depending on the treatment protocol. And they can uh, you know, typically just sit there, take a nap, they can watch TV, they can talk to our techs that are in there. So our techs do go inside the chamber with them, so there's always someone accompanying them. And usually we have three, four, or five patients at a time getting treatment. The type of wounds we can manage are diabetic foot ulcers, especially those that have uh, severe infection that's not improving. People that have what we call osteomyelitis, which is a bone infection that doesn't get better with antibiotics and or surgery. Patients who have cancer have undergone radiation treatment. That radiation treatment can cause soft tissue damage. And so what hyperbarics does is helps those patients as well. Uh, also, if they've gone, if our patients have undergone skin flap surgery, uh, if they've had some kind of reconstruction uh, of a limb with skin flaps or skin grafts, whether it's for cosmetic reasons or mostly for medical reasons, these skin flaps, skin grafts, often don't heal well because there's a lot of tissue edema and pressure, maybe infection, and poor oxygen perfusion. So this helps those patients quite a bit as well.